Bill's Roundup presented by Paytech Energy, your advocate for informed energy decisions. There was a lot of news at Bill's camp on Wednesday. New injuries, players back, and rumors about one player possibly being moved. Head coach Chan Gailey said he was not aware of any discussions about possible trades for Lee Evans. But Evans himself has seen the rumors out there in cyberspace and chose to address them. I know just about as much as you know, so you know we'll just have to let it run its course and, and see what it is. Like I said before, to see if there's any substance to it, and you know, if so then we'll address it then. But right now, you know, you come out here, practice, go to work, and uh, you know, get ready to play on Saturday. Headlining the injury front news was defensive tackle Terrell Troop. He left practice on Monday with a hand injury and on Wednesday told BuffaloBills.com that he has a cracked bone in that right hand. Somewhere in my hand I got a little broken bone, but it'll be fine. I'm still going to play. Just got to wait for the pain to go away, and they're going to uh, cast it up and get out here again. They put a cl uh, cast on it and let him play, but it it's going to be a few days until the swelling gets down and it knits back together a little bit better so that they can get out there on the field. As a result, Gailey said it's doubtful that Troop will play in Saturday's preseason opener. Another player that's out for Saturday's game is Roscoe Parrish, who re-aggravated the tweaked hamstring and kept him out of practice for a couple of days. Gailey said he's not taking any chances with his slot receiver. The good news was a host of injured players returned to action. In the receiving core, Donald Jones and Marcus Easley were back practicing, as was offensive tackle Demetrius Bell. Meanwhile, on the defensive side, Chris Kelsey was back along with Drayton Florence and rookie linebacker Kelvin Shepard. Yeah, it kind of eased me back in uh, and make sure that I'm ready to go all the way. You know, don't want to hop out there in a rush and have to start all over from day one. So, you know, it's just good to get back out here, get your pads popping a little bit, and get out here with the guys um, is the most important thing to me. On the highlight reel Wednesday, the defense dominated early in 11-on-11 teamwork. Marcel Darius engulfed C.J. Spiller in the hole, holding him to no gain on this carry. That was followed by Sean Merriman's crack on Spiller as he reached the line of scrimmage on the very next play of the series. Rookie linebacker Robert Eddins batted this pass out of the air on a throw by Levi Brown that fell incomplete. Aaron Maven got this quarterback pressure on Brown to flush him from the pocket and force an incompletion. And Nick Barnett made this shoestring tackle on a sweep to the right side by C.J. Spiller to hold him to no gain. But Stevie Johnson got the offense and the crowd charged up when he pulled in this bomb from Brad Smith despite tight coverage from Drayton Florence. Johnson followed that up with this grab on a throw from Ryan Fitzpatrick in the first play of the next series of 11 on 11. In live goal line drills, Nick Barnett made the initial tackle on Fred Jackson with Merriman cleaning up to make sure Jackson did not cross the goal line. Arthur Motes had a pass breakup in the end zone to keep Mike Cawson from pulling in a touchdown pass. C.J. Spiller had a couple of nice carries through the course of practice, including this sharp-looking run through a big hole by the offensive line. But Drayton Florence capped the night for the defense with this interception off Fitzpatrick on a pass intended for Lee Evans. One practice on the slate for the Bills on Thursday here at training camp, and that one is scheduled for 3.30 p.m. At Bills Training Camp at St. John Fisher, I'm Chris Brown for Bills Roundup.